This video is going to show how to extend an outlet or make an outlet that didn't exist before. Some basic tools you're going to need and a cordless drill or a drill of any kind. Also you're going to need a long extension drill bit. You can also buy a drill extension or one of these paddle bit kits. You're going to need some outlets after work boxes or old work, some outlet covers, and some Romex. 14.2 is fine. I'm extending an outlet from up above to down below in the same cell or 2x4 break. Hopefully there's no fire break in between. If there is, you're going to have to drill upwards through that fire break to feed the Romex. The first hole you're going to drill is where your first outlet is going to be and make it the right height. This height is in the kitchen so I had to make it the exact same height as the other outlets. Kitchen outlets are normally 46 inches off the ground. So I measured over 16 inches from the existing outlet going left and made it 14 inches and just did an exploratory hole so you can see uh, where the next 2x4 is at. And from there you put your first hole and this hole is just a small hole uh, much smaller than the outlet so you can tell um, what's inside there and what's going on. If you can feed your conduit or your Romex from the top outlet down to this next outlet, uh, the, the new outlet. And here's where the big drill bit comes in. When you want to drill through the 2x4 you're going to need to drill kind of in an angle to get into that 2x4 so you can run the Romex to the next outlet over to the left which is going to be approximately 16 inches on center over and 46 inches high. Here I'm just showing that the hole has been drilled and you can tell that this this exploratory hole is, is much smaller than an outlet. Now make the first hole big enough to except the old work box. Now measure over 16 inches and mark the second outlet. Just cut another outlet hole for the other outlet, feed the Romex through, cut it off at 6 inches or 5 inches sticking out of the box. You want to strip back the insulation and twist the ends so it will go around the screw terminals on the outlet. The original outlet will have two wires connecting to it. One will uh, come from the power and the other one will go to the next outlet. And the second outlet will look like this as well. Your last outlet will have just the first terminal hooked up to. And just a quick tip, you want to pinch the ends around the screw with your needle nose pliers so it kind of grabs and hugs the screw as you screw it down and you want it also to turn clockwise so when you tighten up the screw it pulls the wire in and not the opposite direction. You want your wire to look like a little S so when you push the socket into the box it tucks in behind it. And here's the two outlets finished and pushed into the boxes. All you need to do now is to paint the walls after you've installed them and put the cover plates on. Here's the final product. 